Hello, and welcome to 12-Minute Meditation, a weekly podcast from mindfulandmindful.org that offers mindfulness meditations backed by neuroscience. If you've been practicing, you know that 12 minutes of meditation a day can yield benefits like increased attention, focus, creativity, calm, resilience, and compassion. The latest scientific research supports this knowledge. So, on this podcast, we invite you to do your 12-minute practice with guided meditations from today's leading mindfulness experts. There's a new practice each week and a new way to experience some of those benefits day to day. I'm Chelsea Arsenal, Director of Advertising at MindfulAndMindful.org, and today Ed Hallowell guides us through a guided meditation for resting in the flow. In this practice, Ed invites us to explore the rich benefits of mindfulness beyond stress reduction. Picture it as a toolkit for navigating life's uncertainties without feeling overwhelmed. It's about letting go of the stories that cause stress and pain. In this practice, you'll learn to understand that your thoughts aren't set in stone and your feelings are always changing. It's about seeing experiences without taking them too personally. Ed also dives into the idea of the self and how it's not as fixed as we often believe. This meditation isn't just about a quick fix. It's an invitation to let go of the illusion of total control, recognizing the influences that shape our lives. You'll pave the way for self-compassion and understanding. Ed Hallowell is a mindfulness teacher, writer, and the advisor to the Mindfulness Initiative, which is supporting the Mindfulness All-Party Parliamentary Group to develop mindfulness-based policies for the UK. He is also the author of three books, Into the Heart of Mindfulness, How to Live Well by Paying Attention, and as co-author, The Mindful Manifesto. You can subscribe to 12-Minute Meditation while you're on mindful.org or wherever you find your favorite podcast. And if you're moved to leave us a review, we'd be grateful. And so will other listeners. See, your review helps them decide whether 12-minute meditation is for them. But for now, for you, here's Ed Hallowell. Resting in the flow. In this practice, we bring awareness to the moment-to-moment flow of experience, watching carefully each aspect of what we usually think of as ourselves. Through this, we rediscover the reality that we aren't fixed entities, but processes that are ever in flow, ever-changing. Just as many moving droplets make up the stream of a river, so there are many aspects that make up who we are. Like a river, we're constantly in transition. The more we're aware of how the flow happens, and we learn to work with its energies, the more we can live skillfully. In this practice, we begin this process by watching and resting in the flow, getting to know its patterns. So, settling into a posture for sitting meditation, feeling the connection of your body to the floor, cushion or seat. At any time during this practice, especially if you feel disconnected or disembodied, you can come back to this sense of ground, anchoring your experience to the feeling of your feet on the floor or your bottom on the chair or cushion that you're sitting on. Now, dropping into mindfulness of breathing. Turning your attention to the sensations of breath happening within you and resting in its flow, breath by breath, moment by moment. Just letting the breath be felt without needing to try to control or change it. Noticing how each breath, indeed each moment of each breath, 
is a unique experience, not the same as the last or next moment of breath. And yet there's also a sense of continuity as the air flows rhythmically in and out of your body. Noticing how the breath happens without your having to manipulate it. Your breath is breathing within you rather than you choosing to breathe. Realising too that all of the automatic processes of the body, oxygenation of cells, blood flow, heartbeat and so on, are all also happening by themselves, and that this is the very basis of your being alive. All of it happening without your conscious say-so. Letting go into this as best you can, allowing this marvel to happen by itself. Wow, you're alive, here, present, now. Acknowledging also that by gently turning attention to the experience of breathing, moment by moment, you're skillfully handling the mind. Yes, it will likely wander again and again, another example of how the events of life are largely conditioned without your say-so. But, once this is noticed, it becomes possible to return the mind to the breath. This demonstrating the capacity of awareness. We can know what's happening as it's happening, at least some of the time, and work with it. So as best you can, relaxing into this experience, coming back to attention when you notice the mind has wandered off, knowing that by working with the breath in this way, mindfulness is being trained, awareness being experienced. Opening awareness out now to the whole body. What sensations are present within you? Just checking in on these sensations, or non-sensations in the parts of the body where nothing seems to be happening, without judgment, as best you can. If it helps, you can label the sensations as you notice them. Hot, cool, throbbing buzzing, 
numb, tingly, and so on. And then letting the labels fade in your mind as you let go into the sensory experiences themselves. It may be that you find some sensations pleasant, others unpleasant, others neutral. As best you can, allowing and staying present to whatever comes from moment to moment as you sit, gently abiding, with an attitude of friendliness. As body sensations arise and pass through, recognising that these sensations are impermanent, continually transforming in intensity and location. They're not an essence of you any more than the breath, although they too appear as an aspect of experience. As body sensations arise and pass through, recognising that these sensations are impermanent, continually transforming in intensity and location. They're not an essence of you, any more than the breath, although they too appear as an aspect of experience. As best you can, letting them be experienced, moment to moment, allowing them to pass through without attaching to or rejecting them, as best you can. Recognise, too, that the physical constituents of your body are in flux. Skin is being shed. Cells are growing and dying. Neural connections are getting stronger and weaker. And this, too, is happening beyond your conscious control. Isn't it amazing? And bringing awareness now to thoughts. With a friendly interest, observing the patterns of thinking running through the mind. You could see these thoughts as clouds passing across the sky of the mind, making up its weather. The weather is always changing, depending on what's in the sky each moment. Reflecting perhaps on how the thoughts you had a year ago, five years ago, or a decade ago, which perhaps seemed so important back then, and now nothing more than vague memories, if that. Thoughts appearing in the mind right now will be like that quite soon. Noticing how the content of your thoughts, the language they occur in, the vocabulary they use, the attitude they take, are conditioned partly by past circumstances in your life, such as where you were brought up and by whom. Noticing how thoughts arise automatically in the mind without any conscious decision on your part to think them. 
Ideas just appear without your seeming to will them into existence. Strongly conditioned, mostly unbidden, thoughts are just mental events arising in the mind. No more under your control than sensations coming up in the body. This isn't a problem. You don't need to try to be rid of them. Neither do you need to take them as your sole identity. They're an aspect of your being. No more, no less. And you don't have to follow them or fight with them. So practicing here and now, just resting with thoughts. Letting them flow. Without buying into or rejecting them. So now, opening up your awareness to every aspect of conscious experience. Body sensations, sights, sounds, tastes, smells and thoughts. You don't need to make an effort for this. Just letting go into the space within and around you. Remaining alert and present to what comes. Allowing the play of experience to happen by itself, resting in the flow, moment by moment. When you notice attention wandering to a particular place, acknowledging the wandering, and opening out to the whole panorama of experience once more. Continuing to recognize and rest in the flow of experience until the sound of the bells.
Thank you for listening to this episode of 12-Minute Meditation from Mindful and Mindful.org. I hope you enjoyed practicing with us. We'll be back in seven days with another meditation for you.